I think we realized it uh, nearly immediately. I, rem I can tell you something about that, yes. Uh, actually, to be clear, our work was kind of a general theory. We were not sure to what it would apply. Actually, we thought first it would apply to the strong forces, which was a mistake, but we then realized that it should apply to electroweak forces. But uh, we didn't make the theory. That was won by Weinberg, Salam, and Gasho, who had a Nobel Prize for that. And there have been a lot of Nobel Prize connected to to, to this theory, right? First, the uh, Nobel Prize for the electroweak theory, the Nobel Prize for the fact which was very important and which we were completely aware of from the beginning, which is the uh, fact that it's valid quantum mechanically, which was proven in a beautiful way by Toft and Weltman. They got the Nobel Prize. There was a discovery by particles at CERN the W and the Z meson, which transmit, which have mass, and transmit the uh, weak interaction. And that was also a Nobel Prize. All of these were essentially on that based to particles, to, to what we have uh, uh, constructed as a theory. But of course, there's a lot of things to be added to get all of that, and it took time. And, um, well, and, uh, the point is that after, let's say, 83, 1983, when one discovered the W and the Z, we were totally convinced that the theory was true. But there was still an alternative. Either it was mediated by a condensate of objects, the C, which was not uh, the boson, or it was the bosons, which were condensate. We, in our original paper, put both hypotheses and didn't know which one is the right one. And at that moment, in 83, it was still untrue which was the right one, and it is the discovery at CERN that would select the right one, which is one of the uh, two hypotheses we put in 83, in uh, 64. So I have a bit deviated from your question, which is when do we realize? Of course, we didn't realize all of that, that's obvious. But we realized that I think it was a breakthrough because we thought that for the first time there's a way to understand how interaction fundamental interaction which acts between objects which are very close to them and are not felt at large distances, that's called short-range interaction, that that could work. And you see, so I remember with Robert Braut, which was my friend and which we worked together after that also for years, that we went to a cafe that I still see very well and we ordered a bottle of champagne and we said, and that was, I think, a few months after having an artist. So we had the impression, right? We were a little bit sad that people didn't seem to realize it, but, or to pay attention, let's say. There was good reason not to pay attention at that time, because there was a lot of things made. But I think we had the right. We were convinced by the way we did it we didn't have a proof at that time that it was consistent quantum mechanically, but the way we constructed it, which is very peculiar at that time, it's based on what's called field theory, and we had the impression that that, at the end, would work. And so we, we celebrated. We might have celebrated wrongly, but at least we got the champagne. And, uh, that was fine.